The following trailer is rated H for honest. In a world that's been devoid of true 3D Mario games for far too long, prepare your body for a torpedo of weapons grade platforming designed to seek out your happiness gland and juice that sucker until it's dry. Mario Odyssey. Get ready to feel like a kid all over again as you yah, wah, and wahoo your way through some of the most creative Mario worlds to date. Discovering a gameplay experience that feels like a direct sequel to Mario 64. If they stuffed every level with like 70 more stars, more unique side quests and secrets than Ubisoft Open World, and three George Clooney's worth of charm in a massive Mario masterpiece that's so good, it might convince the most hardened console war veterans to buy a Switch, even if they're still trying to shoehorn in motion controls. Hey, it wouldn't be a Nintendo game without at least one insane design choice. Button up the bright blue overalls of your favorite Italian stereotype, Mario, and rescue the princess once again from obese turtle Bowser, the world's kid-friendliest kidnapper, as he prepares to finally make Peach a dishonest woman in a creepy forced marriage, but only after collecting a bunch of tacky bullshit across the globe for the wedding, forcing Mario to team up with some sort of sentient hat ghost that can possess the souls of the living and collect moon shapes to power your weird hat ship so you can complete your quest, which you'll immediately forget about as you get distracted by every new shiny thing you see like a two-year-old. I mean, this is what, the 15th time she's been kidnapped? She can wait a couple more hours. Discover the most obviously drug-influenced Mario to date as Odyssey introduces you to a world where Mario coexists with realistic-looking dinosaurs, borderline racist Mexican skeleton men, some near automata ass sentient robots, and normally proportioned human beings in basically New York, suggesting that Mario isn't even human, but instead some kind of goblin or pixie, a fact underscored by his new ability to suck himself into his enemy's brains via hat, resulting in a Willy Wonka-esque nightmare tunnel sequence where he destroys their consciousness and replaces it with his own in a gameplay mechanic that's fun and adorable, as long as you don't think about it too hard. I mean, seriously though, even in Mario's world, that has got to be some sort of crime. I mean, at least Kirby had the decency to eat his victims. Hop, flip, and roll your way through Mario's most acrobatic adventure to date. With an ever-expanding list of jumps that make controlling Mario inherently fun, and combined with his magic hat powers, starts to feel straight up broken as you learn to combine wall jumps, bounces, and dives to Skyrim up the sides of buildings and leap across enormous gaps in a natural feeling addition to Mario's normal abilities, finally realizes the potential of Mario Sunshine's flood. Look, it's all right if you think Mario Sunshine is good, as long as you also accept that you're wrong. Gorge yourself until you can't Mario anymore, as Odyssey dishes up an insane amount of collectibles and unique challenges with moons as easy as ground pounding the right bomb to rage inducing challenges that will haunt your dreams and hundreds of coins to acquire to spend on one of Odyssey's best new features, Mario Dress Up, where you'll slap him in all sorts of costumes from the nostalgic to the ridiculous or just perv out on Mario's nipples all day. Is a man not entitled to expose his pepperonis without judgment? Shame on you, internet. So slip on those Mickey Mouse gloves and get ready to toss Cappy at your free time. Because if you own a Switch and you're not playing Mario Odyssey, then what are you even doing with your life? Starring Marionista, the Mind Flayer. Jeez, Peach, learn some martial arts or something already. Princess and Tiaras, Raving Rabbits, Big Mama's Chompikins, OG Peach, Mushroom Drake, King Clingy, and so many moons. Holy shit. Mario LSD. You know, I could get used to this crisp white suited Bowser. He's extremely fashion forward. You know, I like that in a horrible kidnapping monster. Comment below on what you want me to read in my epic voice. Feel the pain of those inferior beings as you burn in hell. Stay at breakfast, eat your school. As long as the Aeonian banana produces radioactive popcorn, we are safe. We're all just assholes talking to a camera.